Hi friends, I'm Johnny and this is my grandfather. In these trying times, I just wanted to take a moment to express the importance of keeping tabs on anyone over the age of 65. Just like the news suggests, this is the group most vulnerable to contracting the horrible coronavirus. It's important for those of us who identify as millennials to protect our elders. We must become aware of any potential warning signs, and most of all, when they have concerns, be willing to listen. Isn't that right, Grandpa? I think, uh... With any luck, this will aid in not only stopping the spread of the virus, but show that we actually do care. We younger generations get accused of being selfish quite often, but we can change that narrative. After all, this group consists of our parents and grandparents. Without them, we wouldn't even be here. Right, Grandpa? I agree. That's why we owe the simple favor of checking in on them, picking up their groceries, delivering their medications, and most importantly, hearing them out when they have something to say. Johnny, I have something to say. If we don't, the results could be catastrophic, and in some cases, even deadly. Johnny, I I've got a sore throat. Not and I now, think... Grandpa. Can't you see I'm busy? They were there for us growing up. Now it's time for us to be there for them. Listen to your local authorities and stay at home. Don't risk spreading the virus. After all, we're not the ones in danger. They are, and they deserve to be heard. Grandpa? Grandpa? Hi friends, me again. This is just a friendly reminder to check in on your friends and neighbors over the age of 65. Sure, it's easy to say, ah, they're old anyway. How much time could they possibly have left? After all, they're one foot in the grave and one foot on the banana peel as it is. Sure, they're not as attractive as they once were and complain incessantly about joint issues. Sure, their minds are deteriorating and their hygiene is beginning to suffer. While their aches and pains make them cranky and unpleasant to be around, they're counting on us to be there for them, just as they were there for us as children. So while their vile incontinence and declining memory may cause you unnecessary anxiety, while you may want to hang yourself over the slowest molasses speed in which they do things, don't be quick to write them off. They're going to need us moving forward. So despite their irritability as they acquire that old person smell, it's up to us millennials to show them the respect that they deserve. We must show our younger generations the importance of caring for our elders because they still add a tremendous amount of value to our... Hi folks. Follow the advice of your local authorities. Stay home. We're not dead yet. Hey again, friends. Johnny here. If you're anything like me, this series of PSAs have taught you an awful lot about thinking of people other than yourself. If I hadn't been whacked in the side of the head with a 2 by 4 I may have never realized the dire situation that we as a nation are in. That's why it's important. You know, it's crucial to stay indoors in order to protect anyone with a weakened immune system. Thanks, Johnny. That's quite a bump you have there in your head. Well, I deserved it. You did deserve it. You young whippersnappers may feel fine, but that doesn't mean you're not carrying the virus. While we old timers are technically responsible for you, we're not responsible for your stupidity, ignorance, lack of consideration, entitlement. Hey, grandpa, Grandpa, I think they get it. Though he is right. Italy's entire elderly population is on the verge of being wiped out. It's up to us to do everything we can to stop it here in this country. As we old folks like to say, it's better to be safe than sorry. Speaking of sorry, I'm sorry I wasn't listening to you. I'm sorry I had to beat you senseless. What do you say? Friends? Friends. And cut. Whew. And we're clear. I thought that went pretty well. Johnny, you do realize by even having me here, you're violating the rules of containment. Son of a...